Hi, and welcome to, oh, I almost said Knitting in the Mitten. <laughs> okay, so no, we're not Knitting in the Mitten anymore. We're um, Never, never Cast Off. Never Cast Off. That's cast what we're called. We're um, Knitting in the Mitten was actually, somebody else had already used that name, and we decided to just go ahead and say, you know, it's okay, you can use it, we're not going to be grumpy. No. But we love the name. So obviously they have good taste. <laughs> um, so we came up with Never Cast Off. The reason why we picked ca um, Never Cast Off, because so many times you around the knitting table, you'll hear me saying stuff like, well, yeah, I cast that. I never cast off. Um, but um, so we could, Sheila came up with Never Cast Off and figured nobody else would really want that name. And we looked it up and nobody had the name. So we... We're just with it. We're using your mantra, never cast off. There you go. And today is January 27th because Rusty says so. <laughs> oh, yeah, 325 in the afternoon. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, hi, I'm Debbie. <laughs> um, my rivalry name is Deb's Destiny, and this is Sheila. And my rivalry name is Blue Yarn Always. Always blue yarn. Or 70% okay. of the time. Yes. So. so today we have a few shout outs um, for some individuals who were so gracious to say hello in our Ravelry group. And we're doing the shout outs specifically from the one, the, um, thread. the thread that says um, say hello. So if you say hello that on that thread, then we'll give you a shout out. So, the first one was Angela. Hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. <laughs> and um, what was going on? Okay, the notes are right there in the corner in case you can't tell. Okay, what was going on? Uh, for Angela, I looked at her finished projects and she makes cute monsters. And I also seen some hats. Lovely work. Lovely. Okay, and the next one the is... The second shout-out we have is Daniela. Hi, Daniela. Hi. <laughs> love your black cat. So cute. I, I have one myself. Love kitties. A matter of fact... Oh, try to catch oh. her before she goes. Here she is. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yep, she's like, Poor let kitty. me down. Sorry, kitty. Okay, yeah, I, you know, strangers picking up a cat. They never like that. I, I really do like cats. I have two. Um, uh, oh, our third shout out is um, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Great shawls. Love your shawls. Yes, great work. Very, so very lovely. Nice. And our last shout out of the day is to Tanya. Hi, Hi Tanya. Tanya. <laughs> she would be the Sampler Girl. Um, and she also has a podcast called The Sampler Girl. Um, and Tanya is also a designer. And so many fun projects um, that she has. But we like to say hello to all you girls. And thanks for saying hello in our thread. That was very nice of you. And with Tanya, I just love the part that you were, um, where you had your project on top of your orange kitty. That's what I do, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you had some thoughts about that, Sheila. I, I think that her right. cat's name is Grace. Because I've watched a few of her podcasts. Oh, no. Mine is Rusty. Your cat's name is Rusty. I think her cat's name is Grace. Yeah. I said, please don't let me name this cat. I beg you, don't let me name this cat. So it's Rusty. Guess who named the cat? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Poor cat. Alrighty. Poor cat. On with the show. So let's see here. Do you have any escapees, Deb? Oh, yeah. And that's another thing that really works well with our new name being... Um, Never cast off. <laughs> Escapees really fits now. Okay, so this is the one that I was showing you last time. This one is called Ink Blot. And um, I'm working on getting the pattern together on this one. And I'm going to do a test pattern. And then I'll go ahead and get it posted and everything like that. So this is one of my designs. Um, and I called it Ink Blot because the pen burst inside the blip bag and there was a blot of ink all over one of the skeins. So that's, um, that's my first one. And my second one is right here. I don't do a lot with sock yarn. So this one was actually kind of interesting for everybody at the yarn store. 
because I just don't do a, a ton of stuff with sock yarn. So I finally found something good that's great with sock yarn. And this one was um, from Chris Crafter, also known as Chris Basta, and it's the Gatlin scarf. So that's this one. So I have two that are off the needles. Um, Fabulous work. Fabulous. Thank you. Uh, let's see, what do I have for myself? Oh, I got a few items. Let's see, so the first escapee would be this cowl. And it's called the Cherry Garcia, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. And I believe this is um, La Lions. Oh, what's the name of that yarn? It's acrylic yarn. Very soft, though, and, and it knitted up quick. Lions brand or Lions wool or something? It's usually Lions brand. Yeah. If that's the one that you're thinking. It's a pretty something popular. Like that. Pretty um, popular oops. for. And I also finished the clincher. So my daughter modeled it for me on my project page, but basically, oh, it's a scarf that more or less, oh, I'm turning it the wrong way so I can lean in here. What I had to finish last time was just the contrasting color here, but more or less sort of along this lines here. It's very soft. That's very pretty. Yeah, I really like it. I do too. This is an easy knit. Um, and the last item I have is a pair of vanilla socks. Ooh. Let me get in focus here. And this is, of course, the free pattern on Ravelry. And this is going to be my first entry into um, the 2015 brown bag with the two tangled skeins. Um, my first and pair. That's a podcast. That is a podcast, the Two Tangled Skeins podcast. Um, joining their uh, D Stash 12 skeins of fingering weight yarn for 2015. So, first entry is done. And I can actually start wearing those. That is great. Good. Alrighty then. Do you have anything hanging on the wire? Of course. Okay, so I'm still working on this one, and you can see the colorway a little bit better now that I have it. It really is very, it's very pretty. It goes green to purple to blue. It's a um, Misty Alpaca Baby Me Boo 50% Alpaca and Merino Wool. Um, it's Plymouth Yarn. Um, the number is 1530. It's um, Kimono Jacket. Um, and so this one, it's on four needles. I'm going to be working on this one a long time. So I don't know if it'll ever be done, but I got fingers crossed. Okay. Um, so th the next one that I'm working on is my nephew decided he wanted Aunt Debbie to make him a lovely sweater. So I am. Um, and so it's get coming along, but I'm not sure so much on it showing up to be like a royal blue it's more of a navy blue um so one arm's not quite done yet and the other one just looks a little bit too long i'm still trying to get used to where everything is on that so that's that's what's going on for this one so i'm gonna have my mom she goes up there and my sister-in-law okay too much information about my sister-in-law but the, i'm gonna have it fitted um, to um, see how it's going and how it fits him. So that one is super bulky jacket, and it's designed by Luis. It was paid um, a pay pattern from my local yarn store. It's design number thirty one, and um, I always have too much stuff hanging on the wire. But um, this is the knit along that I'm doing for the Harrison, the mini capelet. And um, this is where I am so far. So far I just have the crochet part done and then I cast on with the red down here. And that's going to be, it's going to be black and red in the knitting part of it. That's ribbon? Um, oh yeah, you're missing yeah. the ribbon with the yarn. Yeah. Nice. And, um... I love the interchangeable needles and what I did is I got the crochet hooks the interchangeable 
And I just cast on with the crochet hook, and I just love doing that. I just think it's so much fun to be able to get on there, and it just gets in there so fast. At least that works for me. So I just hook it right on there from that. And um, since some of my past patterns are um, casting on knitting from crocheting, I just find it easy to do that. So I have interchangeable needles with um, both crochet and yeah, and knitting. Um, yeah, I haven't switched over to knitting. It's nice yet. with the red in there. Thank you. You're welcome. And what do I have on oh, the wires? Let's wait, wait. See. Oh, I'm sorry. I am modeling my Harrison that I. When did I knit this? You did a test knit for I me. I did a test probably knit. Probably last year. Um, and I just made it out of cotton. And if I scoot a little bit closer, um, I want to say more, it's more of a decorative ribbon almost, that I used with the white cotton. It almost looks like rayon or something. Yeah, because my intention was to wear it more with blue jeans, so it's got more of the blue in there. Yeah, a little bit of pink cool. and purple. But I got a little button right oh, here. It's not just pink. It's hot pink. No, uh, yeah, I don't know if that it's showing up so well, but um it's just lovely. I think I did mine a little bit shorter, but yeah, this this is a really fun knit. Um and the pattern's well written. I didn't have any issues with the designer. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> no issues with the designer. Um but yeah, this is um this is my Harrison. Oh, I dropped that also. Okay, what else you got on your wires? Uh, let's see. I have started the very Brady Cowl. Um, and I am working that in the Baby Alpaca Brush. Get it to the camera. I got a blue and I'm losing it here, a black. I love that yarn. Yep, and I think I'm working it on size eight. I have, but this is where I'm at so far. If I can show it like this. Um, the Brady Cow. Uh, the Nymphalidia is getting some progress, but I've come to the determination that probably done at Labor Day. <laughs> Just um, like this one, yes. but then mine might be Labor Day. <laughs> yes, and then oh, also I've started another Cherry Garcia, but I've started it in white, um, which I don't have handy to show. But this pattern is really easy, works up quick, um, but I have another one started in white. And I believe that's all I have currently going. New. To the satellite store. Woo! Okay, I didn't have, I don't have any new purchases. Um, I've been sick for the past almost two weeks. It's, um, yeah, if you get sick right now with what's going on, as soon as you think you're sick, go to the doctor. There's some stuff that they can give you now. Um, I kind of suffered through it because I didn't go to this right away. But yeah, you want to go as soon as you can. Okay, that's a little just aside. <laughs> Free information for you. Okay, so, but I had a really, really awesome friend that came to the store and said, here's some yarn I don't want anymore. And so, um, new to the satellite store by gifting is this beautiful, beautiful yarn. It's like an art yarn. It's um, only gray and um, silver. It looks like there's some purple in there, but there's not. That's just the lighting that's interesting it's by Aslan Trends um, it's literal sparkle and this one is great to make a really really fast like scarf of some sort and it's so soft it's um, acrylic polyamide and polyester metallic 110 yards so it's just enough for a cowl or a scarf um, and I've been eyeing this color for a long time so thank you I don't know if she wants us to say her name on there well, or not. Well, we knit with her on knit night, and she donated a white hefty bag of yarn of all different varieties to our satellite store. So I want to say thank you, Denise. That's thank fabulous you. of you. <laughs> fabulous. Okay, 
And I was trying to find the other one that was like really, really awesome. It was, um, I can't remember, folio or folic or something, something Barocco. And it's alpaca and rayon. And so, yeah, it, it's gray as well. That's fine. It's very pretty and very soft. So there's two. And um, there's a pattern for a shawl. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that one or not. But it's very pretty. And I think it... Uh, Barocco folio, yeah. So I may do that because it calls for two balls, and, and that's what I have. So I may just try that one. I don't know. It's in a bag all ready to go, so who knows. But I'm not ready to cast on. I've got too many projects. I either need more needles or cast off. I think I should get more needles. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my solution. <laughs> To get more needles. Get more needles. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was really that was really sweet of our uh, fellow knitter to uh, donate a hefty bag to our satellite store. Very nice. Yes, it was. Um, I did get a few things um, oh, in my satellite store from Etsy, and I did order. Um, a bag of fiber from Lucky Rose Fibers, and this is, I think, four four ounces. Oh, it's just pretty color, very pretty color. And I just want to say, her packaging, she must have a little daughter. And um, they did a a crayon, a homemade card, which these are always the best to get. And her little daughter, Vienna, said thank you for shopping. And Aww. it was just the cutest little thing. I remember getting these when my daughter was small. And that was just so cute. And um, I got a bag of fiber, which is four ounces of BFL from uh, Leading Men Fiber, which this is very pretty colors. I don't just make a nice yarn. have to work on that a little bit. But yeah, those those are my two uh, my two door deliveries besides um, my my treats in the hefty bag, <laughs> which was so nice. It was very nice, very nice surprise. Okay, getting our knitting on, getting our knitting on. So, do you have anything for getting your knitting on? No. Anything catching your eye? Well, the one that I actually, the one that I cast off. This one? Yep. I started this one. I finished it in like four days. It was a very quick knit. Well, I mean, I was sick. I didn't have anywhere to go, anything to do. So, um, but it it was about 200 yards, so it really was nice. And um, it really is nice to just put over, just to wrap it around in it. So, I mean, getting our knitting on kind of is a duplicate of the other one before. But no, I need to. I'm still sticking with the Bermuda Shaw um, and possibly the Clarissa hat. But I got to work through what I got on the wire right now. I think more than seven projects. I'm like, oh, when you start knocking, I got to get it done. Oh, I just keep I gotta adding see. it to the bin. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> I got I to see progress. And then with me um, joining the brown bag um, that's going to help with 12 skeins of fingering, which I have more than 12, which I hope that makes a dent in my stash. So that'll, that'll help along too. Not so bad. Any mishaps this week? Catastrophes? Yeah, I got sick. <laughs> I don't suggest. I don't mean to don't laugh say, as relating. Don't say, just don't, just don't. And, um. No, it was, it, I don't generally get sick for that long, so it was a lot to get over. So, no, I just, um... Well, it's a good thing you're all well, yeah. or you feel better at least to get dressed and come out. Yes, I mm. am dressed. <laughs> <laughs> dressed in your knitwear, come on out. Yeah, I don't go out of the house unless I'm dressed. It's a habit. <laughs> Okay, what else? My do mom's I get? watching. Hi, mom. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Also, too, um, I'm a recently new spinner. I picked up the uh, wheel at an auction last year. So I figured to do a little segment called Calming Moments, uh, aka spinning. 
Um, so I do have, I went to a fiber festival in Ann Arbor, I think it was in October, um, with some of my knit friends. And I picked up some uh, BFL and some white merino. Um, and since I have, let me get this in here in the screen, I have plied it together. The white is the merino and the multicolor is the, the BFL. And from four ounces, um, I've obtained 162 grams of a two-ply. Not quite sure how many yards 162 grams is. I haven't looked into it, but it's very soft. It's squishy it's, and it's beautiful. It's going to have to be something that I wear out because I just can't hide this in my shoe or under my coat. Or mm -hmm. Well, that would be a little thick for a sock. Yeah, it could be slippers. You know, could be, but just make it I don't hat. know. Could be a hat, could be a scarf, a cowl. But the It'd best. be lovely. The best suggestion is to wait until the yarn speaks to you as to what it wants to be. The yarn whisperer? I need a yarn whisperer. Uh, you know, it just really talks. But and until it's it. ready, you know, and there's there's this one yarn that I have, and, well, of course, it's two mixed together, but I've started it twice, and it's on needles right now, and I'm about to pull it off because I can't remember what I did with it, and it's just, it's not working. So it's coming, it's going right back. I'm winding it back in a ball whenever I get to it. Just, I don't know. Yeah. That's my first hand spun. I, I kind of want to make something out of it. It's got to be special. It's your first one. I know. But I don't want it to let it to sit either. It's last year's yarn. I can say that now because we're in January. <laughs> well, I I want to work on last year's yarn. Um, but yeah, I, I got to figure out something to make with it. I'm I'm not quite sure. I'm I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Do you have any yarn goals for this year? Oh, I do. You do. Yeah. My goal is just to knit happy. Knit what I want. Knit when I want. Knit as often as I want. <laughs> I took a picture of it, so I just have to get back in there. I know I sent it to her, so I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, For your knitting goals? Yeah. Is that your book or mine? Oh No, those would those be my books. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had one like that that had it in there, but okay. There we go. Um, I want to use stash yarn uh, more than purchasing new yarn. Um, however, if I have stash yarn that I need just accenting, then that's okay. But I don't really want to add too much. Now, there is one exception to that, and that would have to be Knit Michigan. Yeah, Knit Michigan. That's coming the... February 7th. February 7th in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Sacred Heart Academy, I think it's called. Yep, it's, We're going to put it online. It's it's going to be in a church, and all the proceeds go to um, cancer um, patients. Uh, they accept chemo hats for men, women, and children there. Um, I know we went last year. They had a live auction. They had a... Uh, classes that you could sign up for, uh, a luncheon area, they had uh, dye your own art, yarn stations, spinning, weaving, a, a market area to purchase magazines. Yeah, and lots of local yarn stores that were there. It was, it, it was a highlight of the year in regards to yarn purchases and yarn things. Um, I really enjoyed Knit Michigan, and um, we'll put it up there as to exactly where it is um, so that it's up there and you can find it. Yeah, I also believe there's a Knit Michigan group on Ravelry that there you is. could possibly uh, go into there if you're looking for something more sp 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 specific, specific. <laughs> specific. <laughs> or, or if you're interested in taking a class because they do have a lot of classes there also. Um, where you could take a class, learn a technique, or um, start a project, something along those lines. My next um, goal is to catalog all my work in progresses 
and to either figure out do I want to finish them or do I want to just take them off the needle and free up the needle. I'd rather buy more of the needles, but that hey, look. Um, I would like to finish eight patterns this year. So How many? To eight. I Do would you... like to write oh, and okay. publish eight patterns. So that has it's a little bit different than just you know, but I would like eight. Um, and then post completed objects on Ravelry. I'd like to have out there. Okay, what have what have I done? Okay, it's just so you know what I've done. But what right now I'm I start a project on Ravelry and I they oh Lucy Ciao, Ball oh, Lucy's calling <laughs> <laughs> um they do have a part where you can do create a project and then you can track your project and when you're done you populate a finished project with an end date I'm starting to use that now and it helps me to keep track where I am yeah so I I started doing that with the Harrison but um I could couldn't figure out how to put the pictures on there, so oh, I'll work on you. that. Yeah, um, and then I would like to complete one lace shawl and two or three jackets. So that's my yarn goals. Oh, um, you're ambitious. Yeah, I have some of them. Like, I mean, this is one. That's just, yeah, that's one sweater. Yeah. Does so, is the child sweater going to count? I don't know. Or does it have to be an adult sweater? I haven't figured that out. I'm figuring by the time I'm done at the end of the year, with a total, with a grand total, not sorting any of the products, I should have at least completed, let's see, there's going to be 12 projects just from the brown bag. So I'll push that aside. I should at least have 32 projects done by the end of the year. Wow. She said, just so you know, she's the overachiever, okay? No, <laughs> I know. no, no. She knits I, a lot faster than I do. I, I'm not thinking of big projects. I mean, there's two sweaters that I want to do. I want to do the wink, um, which I was gifted. And then there's another sweater, which the name just escapes me. I know there's four or five shawls I want to do. Um, and then, you know, there's probably going to be socks for the brown bag. I want to do a couple market bags um, for during the summer. And, of course, for Christmas gifts, to give somebody a market bag that you know that they go to the open markets or the farmer's market, they would probably like to have a homemade market bag instead of, you know, those cloth bags that are, you know, every month you got to throw them in the washer because they kind of smell. Those recycle bags. Yeah. So, I mean, you have to wash those going to the markets also because they absorb odor, smell, and... Just yuck. Yeah, you leave them in the trunk. They smell like oil. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Yeah. But those are good goals. I'll, I'll, I'll try to help you remember them. Okay. <laughs> so do you guys have any yarn goals? We'd love to hear. Um, if anybody wants to do the knit along, feel free to go ahead and post some of the stuff. Let me know that you're doing it. Um, I have set it up so that if you're part of this group that I'm sharing it with you guys for free, but there is, um, a coupon code KAL knit along so that you can use that code and then it's free to you. So then that way you can use the the um, pattern for free. Just, you know, let me know how it's going. I'd love that. Would you want me to post my finished picture in your cal? Would love it. Yeah, I'll um, snap a picture and uh, put it in there because I didn't use their recommended yarn. I mean, and I kind of mixed it in and I mean, it's just fun to knit with whatever color or I guess whatever yarn you feel comfortable wearing. Yeah, you don't have to use the one that I used. Um, many times what I did is I, I shopped from the clearance. Um, for me, I love a good deal. I'm a sucker for a good deal. And um, finding some of the yarn sometimes might be difficult, which I'm working on that, and I just made myself think about that and become aware of that. So um, I'm trying to post, like, the type of yarn. So um, I used, it, it would have been a four um, a little bit less than chunky type yarn. Um, so um, that's what I did um, for that project. So I want to let you guys know um, when I do the pattern so you know what thickness yarn to use so that it's not, you don't have to find the one that I did. You can make it your own. 
Are you going to publish a pattern for the ink blot? Yeah, but I have to go through test knitting. Um, okay. Well, I want to be a test knitter. Okay. I'm always a test knitter. Yeah. <laughs> She's a good test knitter. Yeah, because, I mean, this this would be so nice. Like this, you wear it underneath those cami tops with the spaghetti straps. Yeah. So it's kind of like you're still covered, you know, but you're not, ex like, covered, weighted down with, like, a big shawl. And it's something that this one is um, merino, so if you're hot, it'll soak up some of the moisture. And then if you're cold, well, then it'll, it'll make you warm, and it's very warm. How so many skeins of yarns are you, did you use? Three? I think this one was five or six, so like five or six hundred yards. Okay. So, but it was a pretty quick knit. I used big needles, of course. The big needles, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not a 13. I think it was like an eight or nine. I have to look at my thing. Alrighty but, then. Yeah. Okay, well, um, we are we will put the information about um, Knit Michigan online. And we look forward to next time. Yeah, are we going to podcast after Knit Michigan? Um, or before Knit Michigan? Maybe we should podcast after because we might have more for the satellite store. Ooh, you know, it might even be fun to do it at Knit Michigan. You think so? I don't know if it would be work or not, but it might be fun. I don't know. We could something we could consider. Yeah. So, All right. We'll let you know, but um, that's today. Oh, wait, what's today's date? <laughs> yeah, Rusty says it's the 17th, January 17th. So we'll probably do one before then because we're trying to do at least every other week. If not, We'll do a Knit Michigan prep podcast. <laughs> yeah, it'll be all about Knit Michigan. I'm not sure how we'll do that. I don't know if there's that much information. <laughs> I'm not but. sure either. But have a good week. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the subscribers on YouTube. Thanks yes. for the people that are introducing themselves. Thank you for returning. And hello to all the new members. Hi, new people. Hi. Hi. Get your knitting on. Get your knitting on. <laughs> but have a good week, um, and we'll see you later. Yep. Have a great week. And we will we'll catch you on the next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.